the breaker and the broken. As he watched her be torn limb from limb and saw her blood pour from the corpse, he knew he had done the right thing. Many years ago, the old church in the old town was said to contain a torture device in its basement known as the breaker, designed for the sole purpose of slaughtering witches in the most inhumane way possible, having them ripped limb from limb by ropes attached to their arms and legs. After the witch trials ended, the church was demolished and the rumors were forgotten. David was a small town kid, not having any clue what to do with his life. Day in, day out. Seven school hours a day, a boring walk home, and a miserable evening spent alone. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Walk, home, repeat. He had but one thing keeping him from ending it all, his crush since kindergarten, Mary. Mary was decent looking, but it somehow sparked David's love at a young age. David yearned to be with her but couldn't, as he was choked with fear each time he tried to talk to her. He was afraid he would seem like a creep, as if he wanted nothing but sex. He was afraid he would stutter and be seen as a weird. He was afraid of too much with too little to drive him. David was in fifth hour when he first heard the news. The teacher was having everyone share their weekend plans as a weekly ritual. When the teacher finally got to Mary, his world shattered. I'm going shopping with my boyfriend. David didn't talk to anyone for the rest of the day. As soon as he got home, David collapsed on his bed and passed out. When David awoke, he had a startling realization. He knew a way to be with Mary without ruining her life or making her hate him. Two weeks later, David had all the information he needed. He had found out that Mary was dating Carlos and knew almost everything about Carlos. Carlos would get home from school using the bus, exercise until his parents got back from work, eat dinner at 5.30 sharp, and go on a two-mile walk around 8 that would always pass the school. It was 8.10 and David was waiting on the roof of the school. Carlos was about to pass by. Quietly, David climbed the ancient ladder down to the ground. He walked to the fuse box, opened the ruined lock, and punched the contents as hard as he could. Carlos was enjoying his peaceful evening walk when the street light above him began to flicker. He thought about the bad 80s horror movie his parents made him watch last Halloween and slightly shivered. He heard a meaty thwack and the ground collapsed under him. School was canceled the next day after a pair of legs was found nailed to the front door. Staring at the legless body, David didn't know if he had the strength to do what he needed to. Thinking of Mary, he began to dig the scissors into his skin. David's flesh erupted in flame. He had never felt anything so horrible. His entire body was screaming for him to stop, but his waist had no skin. Then his arms, then his chest, then his face. He did the same to Carlos and pulled out a sewing needle for the next painful step. Two days later, Carlos went to school without a care in the world. He was going to have a great day, get straight A's, and kiss Mary at least 13 times. It seems like fortune had finally favored Carlos. He asked Mary if she wanted to join him at his friend David's house for some fun, and that the house was empty because David and his family were out of town. Once they reached David's house, they watched a few movies until Mary had a suggestion. Wanna shower with me? Carlos never thought he would get an offer like this one and jumped at the chance. Carlos had been unwise. He had used thread that was weak to water. Five minutes in, Mary began to scream. Patches of Carlos' skin were falling off and hitting the shower floor. Mary screamed at the fleshless abomination a great number of obscenities and she attempted to flee the house. This was the last straw. David had not worked this hard to lose a shower. He had a sudden change of heart. David thought to himself, No woman would say such things to a man. She is not worthy of my love and devotion. 
She's nothing but a witch! David grabbed her by the throat and hauled her to the basement. The breaker was difficult to set up. After a great struggle and many new wounds, David had secured Mary to the machine. Bleeding out on the floor, David died knowing that nobody else could ever have his love. As he watched her being torn limb from limb and saw her blood pour from the corpse, he knew he had done the right thing.